Hi, Cynthia here. Thanks for joining me for this discussion about planning your cloud migration strategy. So we know there's a lot of companies that have old or outdated on-premise solutions. They have applications that may be lacking in performance and they're looking to move to the cloud to realize the benefits of scalability and well, all the other benefits of a cloud solution. But before you can plan a migration, there's a lot of factors you're gonna to wanna to consider. So today we're gonna to talk about laying a proper plan for your success. And that involves looking at how you can get an inventory of all your applications, how you can quickly assess and identify the different candidates and then make a plan for them based on the best fit migration strategy. We're gonna look at some of the other benefits of a continuous approach to doing this using RDoC. Even though you've defined all your business objectives and you know what you're looking to do, it may not be that easy when you don't know what the current application portfolio looks like and getting that overview can be tricky. RDoC will help you gather an inventory of your applications and build a repository. This is an example of a listing of all applications and it will show things like what lifecycle phase they're in, what the current hosting state is, what the costs are of these, and you will be able to build this up quite smoothly as you go using many of the tools that are available. As you'll see here, there is an easy way to input the information as you gather it, and we're going to take a look at how surveys will also help you bring in the information you need to do to assess your candidates and figure out which ones are candidates for cloud migration. So now that we've built up an inventory of our applications, we're going to look at a number of other factors that are going to help us decide what is the appropriate cloud migration strategy. And that involves looking at whether the application has a business fit and a good technical fit. So we have surveys in RDoC to help you gather this information. The business fit survey will look at factors like, is this a good application in terms of usability? Does it have the features we need? Does it support where the business is going and the users? So you can send, send these surveys out to your users to get this information in and all the data will automatically be added to your evaluation and used in the analysis part. So this is one of the outputs that I wanted to share with you today. All of the applications are plotted onto the Gartner Time Model, which shows you quadrants for tolerate, invest, eliminate, or migrate. So instead of having to sign a strategic ranking and figure out the best fit of every application, these are all automatically generated by RDoC and placed onto a graph. It makes it easier to tell a story and to identify which are actually the appropriate migration candidates, which ones you may want to eliminate or um, reduce from your portfolio, and then it will assign automatically a recommended migration strategy. And this, of course, is based on the information that you've put in about technical fit and business value, as well as several other factors like structural complexity and whether there is SaaS alternatives that are viable. So condensing this information and making it very easy to understand is one of the key values here. One of the challenges with planning any cloud migration is feeling confident and sure that you know when there's some interdependencies and connectivity between applications and that you know where the dependencies are and that you can also envision what the future state is and what you're going to be going to. So this kind of example right here is one of the ways that can help you avoid that kind of risk and make better decisions. You will see that this is an example of a logistics application where we were considering a lift and shift. So in the mainline vision, you will have connectivity to these four servers, and then based on a potential cloud migration, you can see how the future state will look after that migration. So now we've been through a proven process to do discovery, assess the applications, give them a strategic ranking. And in this report, we see all of the information is summarized up. So this makes it easy to discuss this further internally and eventually look deeper into costs and some of the other factors you'll want to look at. Here you have your candidates presented. There's a recommended migration strategy. You can validate and change the strategy as however you see fit. 
we get a high level summary of the costs and that can be very useful input when you're also going to look forward into things like cash flow. We will see supporting infrastructure, integrations, and of course, the total capabilities realized. So with this view, now you're ready to move forward and you can feel confident you're doing on the proper background work and you know where you're going to be headed and you're more capable of reaching those goals that you're looking for.